Hi, welcome to my channel Industry 4.0. Today, in this video, we will discuss what makes an AI company successful. Please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel. So, let's start. Before examining how AI technologies are impacting the business world, it's important to define the term. Artificial intelligence is a broad term that refers to any type of computer software that engages in human-like activities, including learning, planning, and problem-solving. Calling specific applications artificial intelligence is like calling a car a vehicle, it's technically correct, but it doesn't cover any of the specifics. To understand what type of AI is predominant in business, we have to dig deeper. Machine learning is one of the most common types of AI in development for business purposes today. Machine learning is primarily used to process large amounts of data quickly. These types of AIs are algorithms that appear to learn over time. If we feed a machine learning algorithm more data its modeling should improve. Machine learning is useful for putting vast troves of data, increasingly captured by connected devices and the Internet of Things, into a digestible context for humans. Machine learning can rapidly analyze the data as it comes in, identifying patterns and anomalies. If a machine in the manufacturing plant is working at a reduced capacity, a machine learning algorithm can catch it and notify decision makers that it's time to dispatch a preventive maintenance team. But machine learning is also a relatively broad category. The development of artificial neural networks, an interconnected web of artificial intelligence nodes, has given rise to what is known as deep learning. Deep learning is an even more specific version of machine learning that relies on neural networks to engage in what is known as nonlinear reasoning. Deep learning is critical to performing more advanced functions, such as fraud detection. It can do this by analyzing a wide range of factors at once. For instance, for self-driving cars to work, several factors must be identified, analyzed and responded to simultaneously. Deep learning algorithms are used to help self-driving cars contextualize information picked up by their sensors, like the distance of other objects, the speed at which they are moving and a prediction of where they will be in 5 to 10 seconds. All this information is calculated at once to help a self-driving car make decisions like when to change lanes. Deep learning has a great deal of promise in business and is likely to be used more often. Older machine learning algorithms tend to plateau in their capability once a certain amount of data has been captured, but deep learning models continue to improve their performance as more data is received. This makes deep learning models far more scalable and detailed, we could even say deep learning models are more independent. For characteristics of an AI company, Andrew Yentak Ng is a British born American computer scientist and technology entrepreneur focusing on machine learning and AI. Andrew Ng described four characteristics of AI companies 1. Strategic data acquisition. Leading AI organizations like Baidu and Google are very sophisticated, Ng said in how they think about acquiring data without making money and using that data to acquire still more data and so on, before eventually making money from it. They're definitely able to think through these multi-year chess games of data acquisition. 2. Centralized Data Warehouses Many companies have fragmented data warehouses, which presents an enormous challenges for AI engineers. If a company has 50 data warehouses spread all over the place, there's no way an engineer can negotiate with 50 vice presidents in order to access it, Ng said. In short, all user data should be centralized with only security and access left open for discussion. 3. Pervasive Automation A devotion to automation is another prerequisite. As this concept is largely self-explanatory, and in the interest of time, Ng touched only briefly upon it. Elsewhere he has described how just as electricity led to new workflows, AI will reshape operational processes and generate additional revenue. 
Tasks that can be automated, he has written, often fit into a larger context or business process. Figuring out these linkages to the rest of your business is also important. 4. New Job Descriptions Companies embracing AI and machine learning must also embrace the new types of jobs they usher in. Using the role of product manager as an example, Ng described the fading importance of a skill like drawing wireframes. If a product manager designing a chatbot goes to an engineer and draws a wireframe and says, please make the speech bubbles look like that, the engineer is going to say, I don't care what the speech bubbles look like, I need to know what my chatbot is supposed to say. Or, in a more extreme example, Ng said, what happens if a product manager draws a wireframe for a self-driving car? The roles of product managers and how they communicate with engineers are just one instance of the ways companies must adapt to AI. 5 Ways to Get Smart About Machine Intelligence In general, we found that companies that succeeded in the deployment of advanced digital technologies did an honest assessment of where they were in terms of the nine performance indicators. On that basis, they were able to form a vision of where they wanted to be in three or four years. At the same time, they identified a few promising use cases to rack up quick wins. More specifically, the research identified five areas where the top performers stand out. Governance Machine intelligence is a strategic priority for leading companies. Many have built dedicated centers of excellence to support their implementation efforts either within business units or as a centralized function to support the entire organization, ensure standards, and accelerate deployment. A dedicated and centralized support function also helps keep their digital programs on track and documents how their portfolio is progressing. Leaders are much more likely than lower-performing companies to have a defined process for the assessment of and implementation of digital innovation. For example, the pharmaceutical firm Bayer uses a well-documented governance process to deploy multiple applications at one plant, which it then rolled out across its network, resulting in a revenue lift. However, leaders also recognize that change is inevitable in this fast-moving space. Most of the leaders in our data set continually refine and improve their processes, whereas executors and planners in our data set often get stuck, which limits the ability to scale successfully. Deployment Leading organizations apply MI more widely and use more sophisticated approaches. For example, every single leader implemented MI in forecasting, maintenance optimization, and logistics in transportation. The leaders are also much more likely to adopt advanced approaches, such as the application of machine vision to product quality assurance. One biopharma player, Amgen, found that visual inspection system operations posed great opportunities to automate and leverage AI technologies. Amgen is developing a fully validated visual inspection system using AI that will boost particle detection 70% and cut false rejects by 60%. While applications like these can have tremendous impact, these firms also realize that any long-term impact requires pulling multiple levers in concert, and that broad, enterprise-wide deployment is key. Partnerships Partnerships are common, often with academia, startups, existing technology vendors, and external consultants. Leaders, however, worked with a wider range of partners, and more intensively, in order to maximize speed and learning. For example, Colgate Palmolive and PepsiCo slash Frito-Lay, two consumer product companies worked with a systems vendor, Augury, deployed AI-driven machine health diagnostics on their production lines. In one case, this prevented an eight-day outage. Analog Devices, a semiconductor firm, collaborated with MIT to develop a novel MI quality control that allowed it to identify which production runs and tools might have a fault. This meant that company engineers only had to review 5% of the process data they had to before. Leaders, despite their higher capabilities, actually relied more on external partners to further accelerate their learning and time to impact. People Leading companies take steps to ensure that as many stakeholders as possible have the skills and resources they need to employ advanced digital approaches, rather than keeping this expertise the preserve of specialists. 
More than half train their frontline personnel in MI fundamentals, for example, compared to only 4% of other companies. McDonald's, a global quick service restaurant, used MI to improve a wide range of operational tasks, from predicting customer response to forecasting real time footfall. The company adopted a hybrid approach to do this. Its corporate center of excellence tests and develops new approaches before packaging them into easy to use tools that are made widely available. This system helps team members in the field understand the importance of good data and hone their problem identification skills. It became clear that leaders view the use of data and analytics as deeply embedded to how they operate, rather than keeping it siloed and restricted to a few employees. Data Availability Leaders make data accessible. All of the leaders in our research give frontline staff access to data, compared to 62% of the rest. The leaders also all acquire data from customers and suppliers, and 89% share their own data back. Leading companies are almost twice as likely as others to enable remote access to data and to store a significant fraction of their data in the cloud. In short, the democratization of data is a critical aspect to the effective use of analytics. A good example comes from Cooper Standard, an automotive supplier. It requires teams to address data strategy early in the development process for new MI applications. This ensures that all uses cases are built on robust, well-managed data. This democratization of data stands in stark contrast to many firms where information is power and zealously guarded. Building Blocks for Digital Transformation We found that the five areas of governance, deployment, partnerships, people, and data were most effective when integrated into a playbook, often coordinated by a center of excellence. But first, companies need an honest assessment of their starting point across the nine dimensions. From there, a transition plan can start to take shape. Even if it's rough, it assigns realist medium-term targets that account for the barriers to change, skilled talent, investment capacity, and critical infrastructure such as the migration of data from legacy systems to the cloud. While the ambition can be boundless, the steps cannot be too small. Most leaders started with using data and simple tools to make decisions, then moved to more advanced techniques as they built maturity and familiarity with their data. Despite the recent and significant advances in MI, the full scale of the opportunity is just beginning to unfold. And that brings us to one more important difference between the leaders and the rest, money. The leaders spent 30 to 60% more and they expected to increase their budgets 10 to 15%, while the others reported little or no rises. That means the gap between the leaders and the rest could actually widen. Depending on its starting point, each company's path will be different. But in terms of what works, the leaders are showing the way.